So here's, here's the solution to the example problem. The emission spectrum of hydrogen has four energy changes in the visible range of the electromagnetic spectrum. How many lines would you expect to see from this energy level diagram if the electron is excited to the fourth state and you could see all of the emitted lines? And I put C in quotes because really what I mean is detect all the emitted lines. All right, so I've got this energy level diagram. Here are the different energy levels, and here's going to be my strategy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the, all the ways I could drop from n equals 4 to n equals 1, and then I'm going to look for all the unique drops in my collection. So the first one, if I start at n equals 4, is to go directly down to n equals 1, and that'll emit a photon. And I can find the frequency of that photon, E equals HF. That'll be one of the lines that I see here, and this one will be you know, way up towards the purple or even ultraviolet, because it's such a big drop, it'll be a big change in energy. Second one goes from n equals 4 to n equals 3. The other one goes from n equals 3 to n equals 1. Then I go from n equals 4 to n equals 2, n equals 2 down to 1. So I just started at n equals 4 and drop down, drop down, keep dropping until I get to n equals 1. And then finally, n equals 4 goes down to n equals 3, n equals 3 goes to n equals 2, n equals 2 goes to n equals 1. All right, let's look for the ones that are unique. That's the only one that I have that's that long from 4 to 1. I've got 4 to 3, 3 to 1. Then I've got 4 to 2. Then I've got 2 to 1. And then I've got 3 to 2 and 2 to 1. So those are all unique drops. So each one of these drops would be a spectral line. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 things that I circled. So I would have 7 lines in my emission spectrum.